Hi there, it's Peter Diamandis, and it is an honor and a pleasure to welcome you to the Space Generation Congress Gala. So, if you don't know me, I'm a kid at heart who has been passionate about space since my childhood. And I was born in the 60s, unlike most of you that were born way later. But I grew up passionate about Apollo, about Star Trek, and I dedicated my life to helping to inspire and guide the transformation of humanity on and off the Earth. And I've started about 17 companies, the majority of which have been in the space arena. So to give you a little of the history and the stuff that I've been working on, because, and I give this to you not to brag, but to basically share with you analogies and stories to inspire you to do the same. So really my first organization ever was called SED, Students of Exploration and Development of Space. I had the chance through SEDS to meet uh, two amazing individuals, Bob Richards and Todd Hawley, with whom we co-founded the Space Generation Foundation. SEDS, uh, I was the global chairman, international chairman, grew to 100 countries around the world. And it was through SEDS and Space Gen that in uh, 1982, I went to Unispace, Unispace 2. And there I met Arthur C. Clarke along with Todd and Bob and met this amazing guy, the, you know, the author of 2001 A Space Odyssey uh, and of the most amazing space related books and Arthur became a good friend, became Uncle Arthur and ultimately became an advisor to SEDS and then became the Chancellor of the International Space University. And Todd, Bob and I co-founded co ISU led it to countries around the world, to a permanent campus now in Strasbourg, France. I hope we have a whole bunch of ISU alumni in the room here or soon to be ISU alumni. From there, I had the pleasure of going to start a number of companies, a launch company called International Microspace, a company um, uh, that does zero gravity flights called Zero G, Zero Gravity Corporation. We've flown 15,000 people into Zero G, including Stephen Hawking, how cool is that, right? To take a guy who's the world's expert in gravity and give them the experience of zero gravity. And then just this past year, we actually made it to the pages of Sports Illustrated uh, flying one of the bathing suit models in the zero G. I mean, talk about juxtapositioning of the world's expert in physics. Anyway, I won't go there. But um, uh, zero G, uh, Space Adventures, uh, co-founder of Space Adventures. So with Space Adventures, we have flown eight private clients to the International Space Station. Uh, you know, the first Dennis Tito spent $20 million uh, and most recently we have Sarah Brightman who's our ninth client, the world famed opera singer, uh, pop star. She's amazing. She's paying $54 million to go to ISS. Uh, most recently in the space arena, I had the pleasure to co-found with Eric Anderson and then a guy, Chris Lewicki, who's one of the top engineers on the planet. Chris ran the Spirit Opportunity and Phoenix missions uh, at JPL and we co-founded a company called Planetary Resources and I have this asteroid impacting the Earth uh, behind me or about to potentially impact the Earth and we think about asteroids as a threat as an opportunity as well because these asteroids are the low-hanging fruit of the solar system. Right? If you think about it, these asteroids are rich in hydrogen and oxygen, which is the fuel source for you know, moving throughout the ecosystem of our, of our solar system. Uh, they also have access to nickel iron for 3D printing of metal and structures. And then finally, we have uh, the ability to use this for uh, platinum group metals, all kinds of things like that. So we're living during an extraordinary time, a time where our grandest dreams can be made true in space. My good friend Elon Musk, who's one of our investors in different companies and on my board at XPRIZE, has got uh, Dragon 2, which can do a soft landing on the Earth, eventually on Mars, and he's committed to within the next 15 years taking people to Mars and back round trip for a half a million bucks. So, you know, as we reflect 15 years after the founding uh, at Unispace 3 of, uh, of Space Gen, I want you to think about what the next 15 years are going to look like. It's a time where we're going to be mining asteroids, going to Mars. Uh, we have the Google Lunar X Prize teams uh, going to the moon at a tenth or a hundredth of price. It's the most incredible time to be a space entrepreneur. So as you get together 
at this gala, during this event. Think about how you're going to change the world and change future worlds. Peter Diamandis out. Have a great time.